we're back again with another round of mock draft recaps. Not a lot has changed since last week, but a handful of sites have updated their projections. Included this week is Mel Kiper's mock draft, which you can get via ESPN. Surprise surprise, he has Rashawn Gary and Devin Bush in the first round. Let's get into it. Mel Keeper's 1.0 mock draft, as stated, has both Gary and Bush in the first round. Other notable B1G players include, Nick Bosa at number 1 to Cardinals, Haskins at number 6 to Giants, TJ Hawkinson to Titans at no. 19, Draymond Jones to Rams at no. 30, Paris Campbell to Packers at no. 32, here's what he has to say about the pair of Michigan studs, 9. Buffalo Bills Rashawn Gary, DT, Michigan Could the Bills get their Kyle Williams replacement here? At his peak, the 6'6", 283-pound Gary is a menace who makes offensive linemen look foolish but you'd like to see him do it with more regularity. Gary could play end or nose guard in a 3-4 defense or tackle in a 4-3. Buffalo could look at centers or guards here, improving the interior of the offensive line should be a priority. 20. Pittsburgh Steelers Devin Bush, LB, Michigan The Steelers tied for the NFL lead with 52 sacks this season, but the weakness on defense was at inside linebacker, as they struggled to replace Ryan Shea's ear. The phrase I keep repeating about Bush is perfect for today's NFL. He would be a great fit as a three-down linebacker who never has to leave the field. At 5'11", Bush is undersized, but he should test well at the Combine. CBS has a pair of updated mocks with both RJ. White and Ryan Wilson updated theirs within the last day or so. Unlike their counterpart, Will Brimson, who had both Gary and Bush in the top five, White and Wilson aren't as high. Wilson in particular is quite low on the Wolverine standouts. Here's White's 14, Atlanta Falcons Rashawn Gary, DL, Michigan. Gary hasn't put up massive sack numbers at Michigan, but that's because that's not his job. He excels at setting the run on the edge but can still offer some pass rush talent from the interior. He'd be a great addition to the Falcons' defensive line, even if the team signs Grady Jarrett to a contract extension. With a guy as talented as Gary, you'd be wise to just tick him and let the rotation shake out however it may. 21 Seattle Seahawks Devin Bush, LB, Michigan. K.J. Wright is heading into free agency, leaving the Seahawks with a massive need at the position next to Bobby Wagner. Enter Bush, who can play on all three downs and is a great mover in open space who can chase down the ball carrier. Shockingly, Wilson has Gary falling all the way to 24 with Bush outside the first round 24. Oakland Raiders, via Chicago, Rashawn Gary, DL, Michigan. Khalil Mack was traded before the season, Bruce Irvin was cut last month, and the Raiders are one of the NFL's worst pass-rushing units. They have to address the position early, and possibly often in the 2019 draft. Gary didn't live up to expectations at Michigan, but part of that can be blamed on him playing out of position. Is he an edge rusher? Is he better inside? Walter Football's latest mock from this week is somewhat interesting. Gary has risen from Bush has slipped even further down the third round, and Chase Winovich has actually jumped him into an early third projection. Oakland needs to address both the edge rush and the interior of the defensive line, so this pick makes a ton of sense. Rashawn Gary is an athletic freak. He wasn't extremely productive as a freshman, but he recorded 5 sacks and 11 tackles for loss in 2017. His teammates believe he'll be a top 10 pick. Chase Winovich has incredible speed off the edge and never quits. He dominated Notre Dame in the 2018 opener. They can't cover anyone over the middle of the field. They need to add a player who can become the leader of their defensive unit at the position. 
If they do so, perhaps they'll finally be able to compete with some of the top teams in their division. The most interesting mock of this week comes from Steve Palazzolo over at Pro Football Focus. He puts an important disclaimer on his mocks that they aren't projections. Instead, they're what he believes should happen based on the data they have over there. Surprisingly, Rayshon Gary does not enter the first round here. Only Bush makes the cut for Palazzolo. 31. Kansas City Chiefs, Devin Bush, LB, Michigan Bush provides middle-of-the-field athleticism as he flies to the ball against the run and in coverage while doubling as one of the best blitzing linebackers in the draft class. He graded at 90.2 overall in 2017 and 85.0 last season. Personally, I joined Palat Solo in a very quiet minority of people who aren't particularly high on Rashan. I'm higher on Bush than Steve is, but we see similarly when it comes to Gary. Personally, the numbers and impact play just wasn't there to warrant a high first-round pick. Does a player like him make you a better team? Absolutely. Is he impactful enough to build a defensive front around? I'm not convinced. As always, take all these with a grain of salt. We still have all-star games, the Combine, Pro Days, etc. etc. for players to make their impact on teams. You'll see a lot of misinformation in these drafts, particularly as scouts and executives feed writers information to test the waters with. A player like David Long could theoretically jump way up if he measures bigger than expected, runs a good time, and demonstrates explosiveness. For guys with the on-field production but lack of perceived measurables, the next few months are imperative.